fact, if you're watching this video the day that it came out, which is January 21st, then it's currently my birthday! Yeah! Woo! Yes, guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be unboxing items that I ordered from Amazon that had been on my wish list for a very long time, and I just decided to splurge and get all of the items that I had waiting in my shopping carts because your birthday only comes around once a year, and so I've got this giant box right here of so many different items, and a lot of these things were actually recommended by you guys. A few weeks ago, I asked you guys under the community post tab what items you just couldn't live without. And I got a ton of recommendations, so you might just see something that you suggested, you never know. This box is pretty full, and I feel like I have a pretty good variety in here of different items. But before we get started, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I wanna see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. Hmm. When is your birthday? And also, if you could get anything for your birthday off of Amazon, what would your shopping cart look like? Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this Amazon unboxing. Woo! I'm so excited because like I mentioned, these are all things that I picked out myself. So, alrighty. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to close my eyes and grab one item at a time. So let's see, first, oh, I know what this is. Oh my gosh, it's huge! Okay, so I officially own a Stanley cup. The Stanley. If you guys don't live under a rock, I'm sure you've heard of these cups before. Every time I go on TikTok, I either see people making fun of these cups because of how big they are and how overhyped they are, or I see people doing like Stanley Cup collection videos. There's just a lot of hype around these right now. I decided to get myself one. This was literally $70 on Amazon and Woo! I cannot wrap my head around that. That's crazy. But I thought that this color was really pretty. It's like a lilac. So apparently it'll keep any drink cold for 11 hours. Wait, so you could keep an iced beverage icy for two days? Wow. And then it keeps hot beverages hot for seven hours. So that's, that's actually pretty cool. It's splash proof, dishwasher safe. Stainless steel, reusable straw, lifetime warranty. Okay, so this is literally supposed to last me until the day I die. So that's pretty cool. Maybe it will be worth the money. I don't know, but holy guacamole, I was not expecting it to be so big. It's literally like bigger than my head. Gee whiz. Not gonna lie, like I feel basic, but I feel kind of cool now that I own one of these. And a lot of you guys were also telling me that I needed one. So if you're watching this and you own a Stanley, let me know what color you have, or if you have multiple, let me know what colors you have and why you like them so much. I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you heard about the Valentine's Day Stanleys. Apparently, when they came out at Target, people were literally sleeping outside. Yes, they were sleeping outside so that they'd be the first to get their hands on them in the morning. I personally would never do that, but I will say I think it's fascinating when certain products go viral and I always feel like I need one because I want to try to understand the hype. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, that is the first item that I bought myself for my birthday. Um, we're gonna reach in again and what the? Oh, okay, I know what this is. So basically you guys, I have been seeing everyone and their mom wear these little headbands to do their makeup or skincare routine. It's like in a vacuum packed bag. So let me see if I can get it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't wanna put it on because I don't wanna mess up my hair, um, but it's basically one of those little viral bubble headbands. That's what I like to call them. And what is this? It came with two little, um, what are these for? They're hand warmers. Just kidding. I have no idea what these are for. Are they supposed to be like to keep your hair back? No, they're definitely something for your hands. Wait, maybe they're like to clean your face? Honestly, I have no clue. So if you guys know what these little things are supposed to be, comment below because clearly I'm not understanding something. I think that these are actually really cute even though no one is actually going to see me wearing it because again, 
I see girls using these to get unready or to get ready for the day. It's not like a headband that you would wear out. Um, but yes, so I got that. And all right, we are going to reach in again. This is very fluffy. Oh my gosh, I think I know what this is. Stop! Okay, I am literally dying in a puddle of cuteness right now. So guys, recently I have been so obsessed with jelly cats. And if you don't know what jelly cats are, basically they're these little stuffed animals that are just precious. And I think I ordered like three or four of them. But yes, so as you can see, I ordered this little cloud and look at his little feet. Honestly, don't be mad at me for saying this, but I feel like I'm starting to like these even more than Squishmallows. You guys heard nothing. Don't get me wrong. I still love my Squishmallows, obviously. But I think it's really fun and exciting when, you know, different things start to become popular because it's something new, you know? I still love Squishmallows, but I've really been loving these so far. I already had two of these that are in my house right now. I have a bunny and I also have a hummingbird. So I really wanted more. And I'm trying to feel for another one right now. Okay, this one's really tiny. Oh my God. He's so small, but guys, I also ordered this little um, espresso cup. It's probably why he's so small because espresso is like super duper strong. It's super caffeinated. So it's just like this tiny little thing and mm, he's just so cute. I am a musable espresso cup. Please look after me. That's adorable. Wait, does this one have a name? Let's see. This one says... I am a musable cloud, please look after me. I feel like they don't really have official names. So what should we name the little espresso cup? I was gonna say Essie the espresso. I don't like that though. What should we name this little guy? And then we're gonna name the cloud Claudia. Claudia the cloud. This is a mystery. We need to name him still. Okay, I think that there's two more in here. I don't remember. I think I ordered four jelly cats. So this is I'm not gonna lie, I was most excited about him. Okay, so it's a little frog. I just, I feel like jelly cats just look so aesthetic, you know what I mean? They're like really simple and there's just something about them. Maybe it's their cute little smiles. They just look so innocent. This one says, I am little frog. Please look after me. Oh, we're gonna name him, what are we gonna name you? We're gonna name him Hopper, I think. Hippity hoppity frog, boom, boom. He's just so stinking cute. I think he's probably my favorite so far. If you guys have a better name for him, let me know in the comments. But okay, we've got one more jelly cat in here and I know because I felt it. And this one, oh my God! They just keep getting cuter and cuter, I swear. It's a little squirrel. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so obsessed with squirrels. I love them so much. I wouldn't mind being a squirrel. I would just really need to stay away from like main roads, you know, because nothing hurts my heart more than seeing squirrels or chipmunks like dead at the side of the road or just like dead in the middle of the road. If I ever hit one of these, I think I would hit myself next. Don't take that literally. I'm just trying to express to you guys how much I love squirrels. I think they're so cute. Oh, this one actually has a name. It says, I am Willow Squirrel. Please look after me. I actually like that name. She looks like a willow. Willow's like a really woodsy, pretty, naturey kind of name. You know what I'm saying? So guys, if you had to choose a favorite jelly cat that I received, which one would you pick? The cloud, the squirrel, the espresso cup, or the frog? Now I can't wait to go get the rest of the ones that I have. I mean, like I said, I only own two other ones, um, but it's a hummingbird and a bunny. The bunny's in Chester's room, um, but I wanna start making like a little corner for my collection and it's probably just gonna keep growing and growing and growing because you guys know how I am. Once I get hooked on something, I go to extreme measures to get the entire collection and I have no regrets. Also, if you guys want me to do a video where I unbox more jelly cats, let me know in the comments below because I will literally buy a ton of them and unbox them with you. So if that's something that you're interested in, comment a bunch of cloud emojis below and make sure you like this video. Enough jelly cats talk. We're gonna keep moving on. What is this? It's a box inside of a box. <gasps> ah! 
okay, I was so looking forward to receiving this. Basically, you guys, these are different snacks and candies from around the world. Honestly, I have no idea how many items are in here. The box is relatively small. So I'm going to try to make a little incision with my fingernails and we're going to try these together. I cannot wait. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 snacks, that's what I thought. Wow, they could really fit a lot into this little box. Let's see the grand reveal. <gasps> Woo, I'm so excited. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna take one thing out at a time and we're gonna try them, okay? And also, I know a lot of you guys that are subscribed are from all around the world. Not everyone watching is from the United States. So if you're watching this and you live in another country, Comment below if you recognize any of these things. Please forgive me if I pronounce 95% of these incorrectly. Um, but that's what we have this little guide sheet for. So these are called potty cakes, P-O-T-I cakes, potty, potty, oh no, potty cakes. I'd like to think it's potty actually, not potty. So it says either carrot, coconut, fruit, or chocolate flavored. These cakes are a great idea if you love puffy stuff. Pody has no meaning in Turkish, but some Turkish people call it as a best packaged cake ever. Hope you agree with them. Okay, so a Turkish cake. And I got the coconut flavor. Oh man. I like the way coconut smells, but I don't like the way it tastes. So I'm going to give it a try though. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm just gonna, okay. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna take it a little bite. Okay, honestly, that wasn't terrible. They kind of remind me of the Girl Scout Cookie Samoas um, with like the fudge and the coconut flakes, except it's not crunchy and it's in cake formation. It didn't taste bad. I just have to be in a very specific kind of mood for those types of little pastry cakes, you know? Um, so I'm gonna give that like a six out of 10. But all right, guys, the next international stack that we have to try are these little cookie cracker things. They are called Batum Cracker. Hopefully I'm saying that right. If you're into time travel, here's a trip back to the 90s. In every bite, we go back to our childhood, eating these crackers whenever we needed a quick bite while playing games with our friends. Interesting. I'm excited to try these. So I guess these have been around for a while. Let's do the sniff test. They don't really smell like much, but they do have like a little almond shape. These are satisfying to hold. These are actually really good. So it's kind of hard to explain, but it has the texture of an animal cracker, but it tastes like a regular Ritz cracker. These are not bad. I like them. I'm gonna give them a seven and a half or an eight out of 10. Reaching in again, we've got, ooh, okay. These remind me of Pocky sticks, but it looks like they are called Biscolata sticks. Plain sticks dipped into the chocolate, best for casual snacking. Okay, but where is this from? I don't know where this is from. All right, let's give it a go. I think these are gonna taste exactly like Pocky sticks, just with a different name. If you guys have ever had Pocky sticks before, then comment a chocolate bar emoji in the comments. But all right, here we go. Mmm. Honestly, I think that these taste better than regular Pocky sticks that we have here in the US. The chocolate is just creamier and more indulgent. So I'm going to give these an eight and a half out of 10. They are my favorite thing that I have tried so far. So we still have quite a few things to go through. The next thing, ooh, okay, wait, I'm actually so excited about these. So these are pizza crackers. And let's see, does it say anything interesting about them? I'm trying to find the facts. I don't see it on here. Yeah, I don't know if this is like a bonus or what, but it's not on our little guide sheet. That's okay. I'm just excited to try them, honestly. I low-key like the pizza goldfish crackers here in the US, so I wonder if they're gonna be similar. Oh my gosh, they literally smell the same. They smell, oh my God, they smell pretty good. Let's try one. They look like little hearts, kind of. Hmm, okay. The best way I could describe this is like, if you were to make your own homemade pizza with like the flour and the water and you started from scratch, it tastes like homemade pizza dough and dried up tomato sauce <laughs> in the best way possible. Honestly, I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10. I think they're pretty good. They're definitely interesting. Next up we have, it's a puff pastry, a fluffy marshmallow. It is small and convenient, mostly consumed in two bites. It comes in different colors, but mostly with an identical taste. Do not have it in one go. 
appreciate the snack in multiple bites to extend the experience. Okay, all right, I'm so happy we didn't get the chocolate one because that was an option and I wouldn't have liked that. So it's basically a marshmallow coated with sprinkles on top of a little cookie. It looks pretty good, let's give it a whirl. Smells amazing. It smells like a Bath and Body Works lotion. What the? It tastes like a lotion too. This is interesting. It doesn't just taste like a vanilla marshmallow. It quite literally has like a Bath and Body Works lotion undertone to it. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear it has like a, almost like a perfumey, fruity flavor. It's really weird. They say don't eat it in one bite. It would have taken me like 20 bites to finish because I just took a little one because I wasn't sure how I feel about it. Honestly, not my favorite. I'm gonna give that like a five out of 10. It's really pretty, don't get me wrong. It just wasn't my favorite. Anyway, next up we have a Sorelli bar. All right, let's see what this is all about. This is so fun. Where is it? Okay, the goodness hid inside the thin layers of wafers, which is only to hold together the creamy hazelnut content. Ooh. The chocolate bar is so popular that it is almost impossible to find at convenience stores as it sells out pretty fast during the day. Okay. Well, I do love hazelnuts. So I have high hopes for this. Sort of looks like a Milky Way bar. Let's give it a try. Okay, so it wasn't bad. However, I think I'm getting to a point where I need some water or something. You know what I mean? It's like if you sit and eat too much Halloween candy without drinking water, you start to feel kind of like ugh, sick, you know? It's not bad though. I think if I didn't try all those other snacks before this one, I would feel differently about it. It's pretty good. Um, I would probably give that one a seven. I feel like a lot of these are getting seven out of tens. I don't think I'm going to try every single one of these on camera with you guys, just because I do want to actually enjoy it. And I don't want to eat too much to the point where I kind of make myself sick. You know what I mean? So I'm going to see what items we have left and I'm going to choose one more to try with you guys on camera. All right, so let's see, uh, not this one. This looks like a crispy biscuit with like a chocolate filling. This looks interesting. It's like a seasoned olive oil cracker. Um, this is another hazelnut bar, white chocolate wafer. Woo! I think I'm gonna be going with this. Papillo's popping candy. And then we have a Harvey bar and a chewy strawberry taffy thing. I'm definitely going to go with these. These look amazing. So I love pop rocks. I wonder if these are going to be like extra intense pop rocks. We'll see. But it's just like a fruity flavor. We're gonna see what happens. Okay guys, so just as I suspected, these are basically these same exact things as Pop Rocks. The flavor was pretty good. It tasted like a mix of like tropical fruits. These are probably my favorite. I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. Like I mentioned, I'm going to try the rest of these off camera because I do have a sweet tooth, but not that much of a sweet tooth. You know, we don't wanna overdo it. We're going to keep moving on. And let's see. <gasps> I feel my new tree hat. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to see that Tree Hut came out with a new scent. So this is called Dewy Daisy. And first of all, I'm obsessed with the packaging. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Like the turquoise and the yellow. This is making me crave a beautiful summer day. It's super snowy and bitterly freezing outside at the moment. Like literally I had to pump gas this morning in my hand was freezing. Like actually I thought I was gonna get frostbite. It's like 12 degrees outside today. So I'm gonna close my eyes and just pretend that I'm somewhere sunny in 75. Oh my gosh. This just swooped me away. That is amazing. It smells like fresh laundry, new beginnings, and just like happiness. Guys, this is a 10 out of 10. I love this. Usually I'm not one for floral scents, but there's something about this. It's nice and light. It's not like perfumey or overpowering. It's amazing. So if you are just as obsessed with the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs as I am, definitely give this one a try. It is so good. Next up, what are we gonna grab? <gasps> yes, oh my gosh. I have been wanting to try these Drunk Elephant Goldie Drops for such a long time. And you guys are actually the ones who inspired me to try this. I got this recommendation a million and 10 times. 
So I'm sure you guys are aware by now, but in case you're not, um, Drunk Elephant is a skincare line that is just exploding with popularity at the moment. So this is basically a golden serum that you can mix with another facial cream or moisturizer and it'll give you this glow. Oh, that was the serum, I promise. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna blend that on the back of my hand. And I'm sure you guys cannot tell, but I could totally see how this would make your skin glowy and dewy and beautiful and fresh looking. So I am so excited to start using this with my skincare routine. And actually, Callie and I went shopping a few days ago at Sephora for our birthdays. And I got a bunch of other Drunk Elephant products. So now I have other products to use along with this for the best results. And I'm so excited. I think I'm just going to look in the box for the rest of this video because there's only a few things left. <gasps> okay, I'm so excited. All right, so everything else is beauty related. Um, we're going to talk about this right here. I have not tried it yet, but you guys again are the ones who encouraged me to buy this. So this is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. And we're going to open it up and try it out because I've heard so much hype about this. But then at the same time, I've also heard other people saying that it's not worth the hype. It's not worth the money. I honestly don't remember how much I paid for this, but I feel like it was at least $25, $30, which is a lot of money for a lip product. Let's see what it smells like and how it applies. Looks like you just squeeze it and... Oh! It's minty. I like that. Mm, I like that a lot. It reminds me of the Bath & Body Works Twisted Peppermint scents. I used to have a Twisted Peppermint lip gloss from Bath & Body Works as well. And that is what this is reminding me of. The packaging is very simple. And I feel like if I didn't hear a bunch of hype about this, I probably would have just overlooked it, honestly. I guess it's supposed to be really hydrating. It does make your lips look nice and glossy and shiny. But in my own personal opinion, and I feel like this opinion is very valid because I have like a million and ten lip products. In my opinion, this doesn't seem like anything super special compared to other products that I have. I feel like this is compared to the Bath & Body Works lip glosses. I don't really feel that much of a difference between this and another drugstore lip product. But again, that is just my opinion. I am happy that I have it. I will definitely use this. So thank you guys for recommending it to me. But all right, you guys, so the final items, they all go together. So I'm just going to bring them all out of the box at the same time. So for the longest time, I've been wanting to try bubble skincare. Skincare is everyone's favorite thing at the moment, and I'm here for it. I also think it's super important to take care of yourself, especially your skin, because if your skin doesn't look good, you're not going to feel good and your makeup just doesn't look as good and skincare is very important, okay? So I got a couple bubble products. This is the Cloud Surf Water Cream Moisturizer and I'm really curious about this. Like, I want to know how it applies. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm so obsessed with the packaging. I feel like so cool holding this right now because I see so many people talking about it. Oh, wait, okay, this is cool. So the little pump, it reminds me of the drunk elephant pumps, like how you push it down like that. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. This doesn't really have a smell, which I'm happy about. I don't like when face products have a heavy smell because it will usually break me out. But yes, I just blended it into the back of my hand and it has a super lightweight consistency. Um, it didn't feel oily or heavy. And I think I'm gonna like this, but we shall see. I have very acne prone skin. So I always have to be careful with what I decide to put on my face. But I did hear a lot of good stuff about this. So we have the Bubble Detoxifying Clay Mask. And this is another thing I'm so excited about. Ooh, that's so nice. It gives you like a little mini brush. And oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's like in the shape of a bubble. Dude, stop. This is so cute. I'm not going to take off the little tab, but the product is in there. So anytime I hear the word detoxifying in a skincare product, I'm like, yes, please, because I do wear foundation, concealer, and powder, and that can clog your pores. So face masks are a must. Then we have two more items from this brand. This is the Bubble Fresh Start Gel Cleanser. And I just like seeing what the actual product looks like. So one second. Oh, that's adorable. I just, I cannot get over the little text. I think it's adorable. I'm gonna sniff it. 
it just smells very fresh and clean. Swatching this is not gonna do anything, obviously. You know, I'm not gonna know if I like it or not until I use it on my face for at least like two weeks or so. But it's a gel cleanser and I've never had a gel cleanser. It just kind of dried up on the back of my hand and it does feel kind of sticky. So, I mean, I guess that makes sense because it's a gel, but I will have to read into how to properly use all of these and if there's a certain order I should be using them in because I want the best results possible, obviously. Anyways, you guys, the very last item is this bubble knockout acne spot treatment so this is what it looks like it's in this little tube that almost looks like a lip gloss and i actually needed another acne spot treatment because the neutrogena one that i have at the moment is like pretty much gone so i'm excited to see if this is going to be my new go-to spot treatment if you guys want me to do more skincare related content or if you just want like a general skincare routine video or anything like that make sure you like this video and comment some bubble emojis in the comments below since we were just talking about bubble skincare but anyways you guys that was all for today's video if you guys liked it then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and i will talk to you all in the next one bye Mwah.